Hi, Kim. Hi, Jessica. I'm preparing for my oral examination of my thesis. So any resources and things to that you would suggest? My first question would be asking your chair if they have a template or any sort of like, how are they about evaluating your okay. oral presentation? Because okay. if they have a rubric or a template, then you need that first. You need to make sure that you're developing the presentation to meet those expectations. I just remind folks who are at the end that you've are already defended your proposal. So the bulk of the presentation, you'll provide a brief overview, a reminder of obviously the objective, the research questions and methods, the role of theory, but that's going to be just a quick overview. And then the bulk of your time is going to be spent on your results, any changes that you had to your methods, your conclusions, your recommendations, that should be most of the presentation since you've already defended your proposal. And typically, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but typically when you get to that stage, it's a formality. I don't know many committees that would let a student get to the point where they're going to orally defend if they didn't feel that they were ready. So you should feel good about that. I don't think you should necessarily worry about failing at this point. It's really about demonstrating your knowledge and being prepared to ask questions. And usually the questions aren't meant to trip you up or anything like that. It's really like questions about what you learned during the process. Were you surprised about anything? Would you do anything differently? How might you build on this research? Listen, it's normal. There's a lot been, there's a lot building up to this. So it's normal to be nervous, but Typically, if they're letting you get to the oral defense and they think that you're ready, it's a vote. I think of it as a vote of confidence. So think of it that way. I modeled mine off of other people in my program. I asked to see theirs. That's another idea that I often suggest to people. If someone who graduated last year in the last semester, mm -hmm. ask to see their slides so you can get an idea of what they did. And, and that really helped me because I just didn't even know where to start. And then if you don't cover something, they'll ask you. So it's not a test. It's not like yeah. you're trying to figure out exactly what to include or what not to include. You just do your best and cover all the major high points. Can't talk about everything. And then <laughs> if something is missing, they'll ask you and you'll be your research better than anyone. So even if you don't have a slide on it, you'll be able to talk about it. I put all a whole bunch of extra slides and then I pulled those back in during the Q and A because I could predict what questions they were going to ask. And that way I was able to have a visual in that moment, but I didn't have time to do it all in the actual presentation. So that was another idea that someone, I didn't come up with that. Someone told me to do that. Yeah. Have a slide deck ready yeah. primarily on your findings and your conclusions mm -hmm. and your recommendations. Pulling that together will just help you get your thoughts together at minimum. Good luck. I'm sure you're going to do great.